Welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial. Uh, it's been a little while. Um, this one may not be as quick as the others, but still going to try to fly through this. Um, what we're talking about today is creating a 360 degree or virtual reality motion graphic from Cinema 4D and just walking through how to get that into something like YouTube um, so that you can share it with the world and view it through um, you know, Oculus Go or Rift or even through your phone um, in VR. So I have this very basic scene set up here. Um, if I jump out of my camera, all I have set up here are these, is a sphere inside of a cloner in this grid array here, um, or sorry, radial array. Um, I've added a floor and I've just got some really basic materials on both. And then I just brought the basic physical sky in and turned the clouds on. Um, the most important thing we're going to need to do here though is obviously we need to be in C Cinema 4D R19 or 20 for this to work um, but is going to be inside of our camera so if I go into my camera um, by default it's not going to be ready to display anything in 360 you're going to need to go to spherical and make sure that you check enable on and now you're going to have a few options here inside of your scene. Um, for one, you can use equirectangular or dome. We're going to keep it on equirectangular. And then we have these different mapping types. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail about it. I haven't messed with all of them. Obviously, um, it just tells us the image how to be mapped, whether it's going to be a cube map. So essentially, you're standing inside of a cube or you're standing inside of a sphere and it has different projection types. So lat long is basically two by one. Um, so that's that's the most important thing we need to keep in mind and that's what YouTube and Facebook, um, or sorry, YouTube is looking for. Um, obviously this cube map here is three by two and then I think this is, the string is six by one and I'm, the cross I think is just like three, six by three two or I, I don't exactly know um, but you can find that inside of the uh, documentation inside Cinema 4D. Um, I just have use full range checked on if you wanted to you could um, you know change this to only showing 180 degree field of view in this case I just left it checked on just in case anything gets touched because I want it to be a full 360. Um, we don't have any we're not messing with anything in stereoscopic over here but if you wanted to you could switch this over to stereoscopic and now you could have you could set the eye separation parameters in, in order to view your motion graphic in stereo we're, we're sticking with simple mono for right now <clears throat> and if I just play my animation you see these balls are just rolling um, and if I give it a preview though you'll notice that I am set up to uh, render this out as a 360 degree uh, motion graphic. So in my settings, um, under output, I have it set at a 2 to 1 ratio. Now you could up this to 4000 by 2000, just would up your render time obviously. Um, and then we're just going to do all frames and we're going to make sure we save it somewhere that we know where it is. And then we're just going to render. Um, and so I've already done that. When you're done, you're obviously going to end up with this uh, long list of images here. And now what we can do is we can jump into After Effects. Okay, so now I'm inside After Effects. And I'm just going to go import those files now in. And um, I just need to grab the first one here and click open and then I'm going to drag this into a new comp so now I'm looking at my my full um, 360 view here nothing's happening yet not ready to render out yet for 360 um, you'll notice I have this VR comp editor open over here what you'll need to do to enable that is go to window VR comp editor now what's going to happen is it's going to pop up a message and basically what it's going to ask you to do is in your preferences um, you're going to need to allow okay so underneath scripting and expressions 
you're going to need to allow scripts to write files and access network. And that will allow this script to pop up and this will allow us to start creating our 360 degree um, render so that we can get ready to put this on YouTube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a 3D edit and I just brought in my, I have my spherical tutorial comp already there so I'm going to use that. Um, everything is, is good as it is. I'm just going to uncheck the two node camera and I'm going to add my, my 3D edit. And now if you hit the letter C on your keyboard while your uh, timeline's highlighted here, you can drag around and make sure that this has been properly stitched. And as you can see, it's not the highest resolution. Um, so it's going to be a little blurry. And so that's where, you know, a longer render time comes in. But this is for the tutorial's sake. So I can drag around, though, and I can make sure that, in fact, yes, I am uh, looking good. And then the final step is, if, if everything looks good, um, I can check on reorient here. Check my properties one more time. I'm not going to apply any camera tracking or anything like that, but if you wanted to start editing and doing effects, you could do that in here. I just need to click open output slash render. And now this is what I'm going to be outputting. Um, and I'm going to go to file, export, add to the Adobe Media. Um, and you can see I've done a couple samples here. If we click on our uh, right here where it says match source high bit rate, we need to just scroll down and make sure that we've got video as VR checked on. And we're going to leave everything else alone. Um, I'm just going to tell it to go somewhere here and then we're just going to go ahead and start the queue. And we're good to go. But we're not quite there. The one last thing we've got to do is uh, you need to get the what is called the spatial media metadata injector. Now you can find this really quickly. So if you just Google for that, you're going to find this page um, in Google's documentation um, where there's a link to downloading the spa spatial media metadata injector. Download that tool and we'll have this dialog box. All we need to do is check on that my video is spherical. We're going to open that up and uh, let's see. We open and we click, click inject. You can tell it where it is and then I get a f successfully saved file to spherical tutorial injected. And now that is what we're going to upload to YouTube. So if we go into YouTube, I already have my video uploaded. Uh, it was just a five second clip. But you'll notice now I can zoom all around and watch different positions of my video. And I'm in, I'm in good shape. The only thing I probably did wrong is I think I have my camera angle slightly off. So if you look at that horizon line, the angle is a little bit a little bit distorted but I think it's actually okay um, so anyway this has been a fairly quick tutorial I hope this was helpful in getting you set up in creating your 360 degree motion graphics maybe you're creating a video that you recorded on a fusion or something and you want to have a really cool intro graphic um, this would be how you would do that so uh, hope you enjoyed stay tuned and please subscribe